Howdy, friends! I'm Tablasto. And I'm Yoli. And we host a podcast called Spaghetti and Freddy, in which we discuss both spaghetti westerns and the Nightmare on Elm Street film series. That's right. And a new episode drops every Friday morning. Just search for Spaghetti and Freddy to find us. Thanks for listening. Ciao for now. This is episode 110 of Seti Bimco, Part 2 The Revenge. George had to run out the last minute. And Kevin Kublasto from Freddy and Spaghetti and Seti Bimco came in and uh, pitch hit. So welcome. That's right. From the show you're listening, me from the show you're listening to <laughs> is here. This week. So it's, good. it's a good thing that I just, it's a good thing I live on your couch and I can just fill in for George. Right. So. <laughs> So this yeah, week we're going to spe- celebrate and celebrate. No, I don't mean that. We, I like I love New <laughs> Jersey. We're celebrating New Jersey because <laughs> we're celebrating the fifty states. We already did ten. It's it's going by so fast, right? Yeah. Anyway, New Jersey yeah. with nineteen eighty one, the the Prowler. Okay, and I have an age old question for you. You knew it was coming, right? Oh boy, I, I've never listened to the show. <laughs> Hipsters. Do you have hipsters in Rochester? Like besides you, of besides course. you, I mean. Yeah. Okay. There's others. Yeah. No. <laughs> we've had we've had them for a long we ha- time. We have a lot in Brooklyn. So they shipped them from Brooklyn. They, yes, yeah. we make them here. We send you know? them to Rochester. Did the <laughs> did the hipster who bought a submarine? Did he ever get revenge on all those damn dolphins who constantly mocked his lack of mustache waxing skills? <laughs> <laughs> It's Seti Bimco Part 2, The Revenge, the show where we create revenge sequels that nobody wanted. It's Seti Bimco Part 2, The Revenge, the premier podcast that creates revenge sequels to movies that never had them. And this year we're going through all 50 states. And before you talk, I'm going to also tell everybody that every week we pull a wild card number out of a jar, because after we watch this movie, we're going to ask who from this movie, which character would be most likely to do something? I pick a number that corresponds to a list. That's this number 24. Who's most likely to say don't do drugs while getting arrested in a Madagascar elevator? It's Otto. Are we done with that? <laughs> <laughs> Can we just be done with that? <laughs> the only character whose name I wrote down? Come on. You didn't oh. write down Pam? Yeah, I did. I wrote down Pam, Dave. New Jersey. And Otto. Hey. Uh, we're going to talk about yeah. The Prowler later, but good to have you here. Anything new you want to tell me about? Your next episode of Spaghetti and Freddy? Uh, things like that? It'll, it, 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 it'll be coming eventually. It's probably the same episode that I talked about last time. We're, we're on we're on uh, summer vacation in the spring. so Oh, all right. We'll, we'll get there eventually. Do you want to talk about Did you uh, watch uh, all the things I told you to watch? I watched one of them. Uh, because it was becoming maddening after a while because I knew none of them would come Which up. Which one did you watch? We'll yeah, talk about I, it. I watched I watched that music video that you told me to watch. Oh, did you know that song? That, that's a, No, I didn't wow. actually. I can't remember which one I sent you now. That was Good a job. night. This is a great, <laughs> I knew, great conversation. I knew you didn't watch any of them. <laughs> I watched it, and then I knew that you wouldn't even bring it up or remember what you sent me. So Yeah, you sent me the uh, video... Um, Dancing in the Street with David Bowie oh, that, and Mick Jagger. Yeah, I have no memory of that. Yeah, and, and you, you said, this is us. <laughs> That's right. And so, yeah. I did say that's us. Which one are, which one are you? That which one good, did I say was you? I'm oh, okay. David Bowie. So it was a good memory. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm David Bowie, and I, I left before I got... I'm and you didn't Jagger. go see Sasquatch uh, Sunset? I did not. Did you? Oh, that's I right. Saw you saw it. for your birthday. Yeah, I... Uh, Happy I enjoyed birthday, it. Tim. It's it's very weird. I can't believe I, it got made. I guess it only got made because who's the one star? Eisenberg. Yes. Just the Eisenberg. You know how movies work. They're like, yeah, we'll make yes. this. We can put one star nope. in here. But you can't see him, so mm-hmm. I don't know what it mattered. You, Wait, you can't is see it, them. Is, they're, is they're that also your rating? Is that my rating? Yes. Uh, yes. How <laughs> many stars would you give it out of five? Four. Four. That's fun. Okay, wow, that's, that's good. good. That's good. That's good. And uh, I, I'm going to point out something I odd about... your poor wife. <laughs> she was fine. Yes. She, she was fine. No, I just mean, She had like, a nice nap. Having to, deal, <laughs> having to deal with your excitement. Did you get the... Uh, she had a nice nap. That's good. Did you get the uh, the Yeti mug? No. I, <laughs> good. 
the, like like the Dune mug. Did so. you get the Dune popcorn thing? I did not. I wouldn't want that. Uh, it looks gross. Then, well, that's a. I mean, that's why I'd want it. No, it triggers me. I would just make. It triggers I, me. No, it'd be gr- it'd be great for like Halloween oh, if you want I'm kids triggered. to you know grab candy. <laughs> um, unfortunately, you can only find them used on eBay now, and I don't think I want a used one. No. You know what people do with those things. So since we're hey, celebrating hey, New Jersey, hey. should we get to it a little bit? Do you, I have facts. Yeah, let's, tell me something about... Okay, good. I did too. Lou Costello we'll of, of Abbott Costello. Yeah. Kids love Abbott Costello nowadays. But Lou Costello is from yes. Patterson, New Jersey, and there's a statue of him there. It was featured in an episode played, of The Sopranos. You remember that? Oh, yeah. He, Lou Costello played yes. Abbott, right? Famous for okay. their who's yes. on first routine. That's, that's true. I still reference Bruce that. Bruce Springsteen's from New Jersey. That's true. True. Oh, never. Did you never ever heard see him? him? No, you never heard of him. Uh, I'm not a huge Boss okay. fan. Okay. All right. The biggest, the biggest time I was a fan of the Boss was when he was playing guitar for Roy Orbison in his final concert tour. Oh, with the Traveling Wilburys. I don't know. No, Roy yeah, Orbison. He was one of the the Wilburys. Kevin, where are you going with this? <laughs> No idea. No, I, I'm, I'm just stating facts. Roy Orbison was one of the traveling <laughs> was, Wilburys, you know, along with John Lennon. Come on. <laughs> what? I don't know what you're talking no. about. More cars. Let's, let's move Orbison. on to some other New Whoa. Jersey facts. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I, now I just need to tell you, okay. just to tell you, cut it out. Roy Orbison did a final concert tour. It was called, like, I don't know. It was in black and white. So they My last, my farewell. T- it was called and Roy he, Orbison's Farewell Tour. Are you actually Googling no, this? I'm just telling you. Okay. I know these things. No, it's wrong. <laughs> You're so wrong. Uh, anyway, but Bruce Springsteen, Tom Waits, um, what's her name? Uh, Joan Jett. She kind of looks like a man. Uh, oh, Katie Ooh. Lang. But Pat? No. Oh, uh, and, but, yeah, a bunch of other people like that. Uh, big names at the time. They were all just like backup for him. I think Katie Lang sang with okay. him, but Bruce Springsteen just did guitar. Tom Waits just did like guitar. That's all. That's my knowledge of. That's the your boss. knowledge. That's a lot of knowledge. That and Ben, Ben Stiller imitating him <laughs> on uh, the Ben Stiller show. Did you see that? I did not. Bruce Springsteen recording his answering machine. The boss isn't home. Oh the man, boss I think I remember that. <laughs> that was one of, that was, yeah. And then he'd like be like, no, no, that's stupid. And then he'd like do it again. It's good. Uh, and yeah, that's all. I that's know all you him. know. Yes. Uh, so I know. I know that the Toxic Avenger yeah. is from New well, Jersey. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's true. Film there? Was it film there? Yeah. Uh, uh, sure. Riddle me that. Okay. Why not? More cars are stolen in the city of Newark yep, it was. Hold than on. any other city in the United States. Yes. Do you ever get your car stolen there? Okay. Yeah, me too. Yep. But I've also stolen a car there, so it worked out. Did you ever have a car stolen? I thought I did. What? But I just parked in the wrong area of town, and it was just... What? Yeah, it was like 2 in the oh, morning. How high were you? There, there was a whole... Whole point of your life where you were just uh, high all the time? I was very low. Yeah, I was very low at that moment in my life. Thomas Edison, he had his lab mm-hmm. in Menlo Park in New Jersey, which I saw. I went and did a signing in New Jersey. And it's just in ruins. Trees are growing through it. Mm-hmm. I walked out and looked at it, and I got a text mm-hmm. uh, from one of my friends that said I was a clue on Jeopardy. I was like, oh, cool. That's what happened to me in New Jersey. I was a clue on Jeopardy. You don't that know that? Happen? Sorry. No, I know that because you mentioned it like last time I was on. <laughs> I said that last time you were on? <laughs> how many times are Yeah, how many times are you a clue on Jeopardy? <laughs> Once. But I mentioned it every week. Okay, so I guess so. <laughs> you have more facts. The show Jeopardy. Who should we talk? Sh- Jeopardy's been up. <laughs> Jeopardy's been off the air for seventy years. Should we talk about the movie? Joseph know. Zito. He okay. directed this, and the screenplay. Did you notice who did the, one of the people who did the screenplay? I Neil did. Barbera, You're son to, of I the cartoon that. director. Is it Lou Barbera? Uh, is Lou is the first name. Neil, who wrote this screenplay. Of Hannah Barbera. Of Hannah Barbera. No, 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 no. His dad. <laughs> his name is Hannah. This doesn't matter. His name is Hannah. Hannah uh, Montana is named after Hannah Barbera. Did you not oh know that? God. The no. family was like, we love uh, Hannah Barbera cartoons. And Hannah Montana, you're going to be a star. I, man, you are 
bridging the gap right now of our audience. <laughs> We have, we have that, that 20 year old audience and a 60 to 70 year old audience. Right. So you, hey. you just connected them all. I told you didn't hear this yet. I told George, we have our friend Chris who doesn't listen to the show. His daughter wants to watch young mm-hmm. Sheldon. So I'm going to find out some plots from him. He's going to feed me some information. So wait, his daughter wants to watch yeah, the show? Yeah, she said that. She wants to watch it. And he just oh, wants God. to watch it with her because she's very young, you know. How old is she? I, don't, I can't give out that information. She's like middle school kid, you know. Well, I don't know. Okay, that's Do you think fine. I keep track of... <laughs> I don't know what age it is. Listen, when you, when you say very young, you may, might mean like someone who's 50, 52. So <laughs> yeah. I never know with you. So, <laughs> She's in college. She's in college, and she uh, wants to watch young Sheldon with him. She's like, I'm yeah. curious about this. Yeah, needs his permission. <laughs> exactly. So, okay. so do, you, do you have anything? Uh, oh, uh, Savini. He worked on special effects for this movie. Yes. Do you have any yeah. any so, any special knowledge? I mean, since Mr. We're, yeah, since I do, I do. Since we're going there, and, we're going uh, there. We're not going to come. We're not going to come. We talk about this movie so for all, ten minutes. Is, I know. So this is Tom Savini's favorite work that he ever worked on. Really? Apparently. Um, yep. You just what lying. he says. What's what's no? what's his other famous uh, movie? Name any one. Uh, I mean, the reality is, okay, so he did, after this, the director ended up doing Friday the 13th Part 4, and he brought Savini in for that. So obviously that's a big name, but he did the movie Maniac right before this, which I think is a great movie. Not Maniac Cop. Correct, correct. And uh, so Savini did that, then he did this, and then he did Friday the 13th. Um, Then I think he did something with, like, Chuck Norris, Uh, and I'm not joking. And I think that that became was a that huge the one hit. where Chuck Norris was direct- fighting an unkillable guy? What was that one? You know what I mean? No, but now now I'm genuinely curious. <laughs> you don't know that movie? We, I, I watched. I probably do. I watched so. My dad watched so much Chuck Norris when we were younger. Our family watched so much that. Oh no no no! It's not that movie. The movie you're talking about is Silent, Silent Kill or something like that. The one that Silent, you're talking about is basically deadly? Frankenstein's okay. yeah. the story of Frankenstein. <laughs> deadly, yeah, yeah. Not silent, but deadly. I like how you're just making up names for things. So anyway, uh, it's not that movie. All right. But anyway, regardless, who cares? So, um, yeah, so Savini did this. And the funny thing is, like, now I want to get a copy of this movie. Really? I mean, Savini is around. He's at, the, he's at the conventions. Well, listen. You liked it? I only want to do it just... I loved this movie, too. Okay. Probably the best movie Seti Pimco has ever done. Maybe my favorite movie ever that I've ever seen. So, um, well, you, you know, plus knowing co- that I get oh. to talk to you about it just makes it that much better. Well, the guy who wrote this, did you see what else he's written? No. Yogi's Space Race, uh, the all-new Popeye Hour. I love Popeye. I love the way he talks. Love everything about him. <laughs> Popeye for president. Uh so, okay. movie. Did you oh. know that this, this, movie, this movie was released in South Carolina as, as Pitchfork Massacre? That's a better name. And outside of the... It is. Outside of the U.S., it was released as Rosemary's Killer. Mm. It was... It, the movie did very poorly yeah. in the U.S. because they decided to handle distribution Uh-oh. themselves. Not a good idea. Um, and, and like most movie movies... didn't go to DVD... Yes, go oh, ahead, Tim. And like most movies we review on, on here, it either comes out it, it comes out one of the years that one of the Star Wars movies came out. And this came out around the same time as Empire Strikes Back. Oh, yeah. That's right. That was 81. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 79, 81, 83. Um, no, 77. That's weird. I didn't know that that was a... It happens. Oh, I'm thinking of Alien. Sorry. We just did the, we just did the movie Claws. It came out in 77. Like, I'm thinking of Alien. <laughs> <laughs> Your voice sounds better like that. You, you didn't react <laughs> when I'm like yelling yeah. into the microphone. So, uh, we'll go, if, continue. I know he's not listening, but if Needle Drop Records, if Needle Drop Records Russ is listening, hopefully I sound less nasally and uh, ne- high pitched this week or whatever he was complaining. Needle Drop Records in Rochester, New York. Shop there today. What's their address? You never know. You never uh, want. I don't know. Shop it. No, Needle drop records. Ma- Mention Seti Bimco. Mention Seti Bimco for no special treatment. <laughs> Mention Seti Bimco and get uh, additional ten percent on your order. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> he'll just charge you more and he won't talk uh, to you. That's right. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so this movie, which I don't care about spoilers. Um, Let's get to the middle before you get the whole spoiler. DVD because the director. No, no, no. Well, why? Do you know what I'm about to say? Uh, you're about to reveal that this takes place during World War II, right after. No, I the beginning. I was. I, why? <laughs> No. And then it flashes, you didn't know flashes what I was forward in 1980. Okay. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I'm cutting you off. All right. <laughs> what are you going to say? Well, my last factoid was okay. this movie almost didn't end up on DVD because the director hated a fake tombstone in it so much. Ooh. And he hated the photo of Rosemary in the book because they just, like, printed a photo and just pasted it in, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Regardless. <laughs> That's what he th- hated. Those two things, which after seeing the movie... Yes, exactly. After seeing the movie, you know how, uh, like, uh, unimportant those two things right. are. But literally, those are the those are the two reasons he didn't want this movie to end up on disc. Wow! So this wow. Was so it's not on disc. Like lost media. Cool. Seti Bimko digging up the lost media. I think it wasn't on disc until like 2007. Hmm. And I'm talking. I'm talking DVD. So and then they also did a Blu-ray. Which but, one are you going to buy? Yeah, Blu-ray. But I'm not buying okay. either. If I know that uh, Savini is going to be at a local con, he cancels a lot too. Ooh. But uh, if I know he's going to be at one, I would get it just to be like, oh yeah, this is my favorite work you've ever done. And then he would be like, oh yeah, this is the favorite work I've ever done. So and then uh, you're, I don't. He then, cancels don't a lot he, of conventions. Yes. Oh. So you're saying he's he's uh-huh. like a Kevin Cab- I've been he's in- like a Kevin Cablasto check cancels they get canceled a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Well, when you said check, I thought you meant someone from the Czech Republic oh, okay. <laughs> or, or, or Czechoslovakia. Racist, racist. You know? Okay. Yeah. Let, listen. <laughs> Let's talk about this movie. Uh, anyway. Half hour. Half of hour. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me get through Go the ahead, beginning. Tim. It's all you. Uh, so it Do starts, it, it's, get, this get is nicely list. filmed. Yes, yeah, my list. <laughs> it starts with World War II <laughs> and people coming home. Um, it uh-huh. does, does. Did you think, were you confused? I was confused. Did you think yeah. you're playing the wrong movie? <laughs> I thought, what? This is the local, Me this too. is the local news. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> End of World War II? <laughs> is this, new, is this, is this news from the future? <laughs> <laughs> they, they explain yeah. that, uh, you know, some of them had psychological damage, which is interesting. This is 1980. I don't think anybody knew, like, PTSD or talked about it much back then. And so it's funny it's in this movie. In the 80s? Interesting. 1980- I mean... I never. You Do you remember they, that? They must have. It wasn't until 90s I heard people Listen, saying I, PTSD a lot. How old were you in the 80s? <laughs> Not to old dox enough. you. I saw well, Empire I Strikes Back in the theater. I told George this last week. And I was like, I was there. Okay. We didn't know what was going to happen. We find out like who Luke's father is and people were fainting and they had to call ambulances. People, you know, <laughs> running from the theater. George doesn't believe me. It, it was, was you. Me. Yes. You both faint. You both fainted and <laughs> ran from the theater. So. I dramatically oh, dropped okay. my popcorn anyway. and hit the floor and like the slow motion. It went everywhere. You were eating out like. of your Sarlacc pit, your Sarlacc pit <laughs> cup. Yeah, Which they had those. strange because Jedi, was, Jedi, Jedi wasn't even out yet. Yeah. Promotion for the next movie. They were on top of that. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I don't know what we were talking about. This, but uh, this, this starts at the end of World War II, and this woman gets a Dear John letter. And if people don't know what that is, mm-hmm. it's like a soldier goes to war wait, and the girlfriend's wait, back home. You said the woman. you said the woman gets oh. a Dear John letter. A woman sends a, a Dear John letter. I'm off the rails. That's right. We see her writing it. Like... Dear, okay. we don't know his name, right? I can't take it. You're off at war. John. Well, I can tell you his name now, now that I've watched the entire you movie. Can. Yep. What is his name? It's Otto. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a dance. There's a dance for the soldiers now coming need, home at this now, college. Now, now you need to listen to the episode to see if I'm telling the truth or not. There's this college. I don't think we ever hear the name of the college okay. or the town. It's filmed in Cape May, New Jersey. But no. they never say the name of the town, do they? Oh. Uh, there's a dance. No, all I know is they say it's, they pretend it's in California. It's a dance in a house, which is a school. It's a nice Victorian house, but it's a college. We never see the college with classrooms or anything. It's an all-girls college it's, or what? I don't know. I assume that that was just a sorority house. Yes, yes. So they're dancing. 
So, and I, I in 1945, yep, they're doing all these dances, and I have something for you, something new. It's a quiz. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm, ex- I'm excited. I'm Back so in 1945, excited, so. where this movie started, they had all these crazy dances with the different yep. dance craze names and names of dances. So I have the names of a few dances here, mm-hmm. and you're going to tell me whether it's a real one or one that Tim Hamilton made up. Okay. I don't know who that is, but so go number ahead. Number one, Jitterbug. That's real. Yep, it is real. The Lindy Hop. That's real. That's real. The Cranky Patty. That's fake. That's fake. <laughs> <laughs> the whip that's fake that's a real dance oh oh uh, wait the ankle that's buck a, that's a newer dance that's no fake. this was I, I looked these up 1940s the ankle buck what are you saying that is Jesus I said that was fake you're right uh, the putt okay. putt that's fake that's fake you're doing good <laughs> the, the, the jive that's real that is real you're so good at this uh, last one, the hungry, hungry Hitler. <laughs> that one is obviously real. <laughs> it's fake. I fooled you. Whoa! Jeez, you did fool me, Kevin. You did so good until the last one. Oh man, man! <laughs> I think I just wanted that to be real. So <laughs> in Germany, it's Listen, known as you... the Verhunger, Verhunger der Führer. I should have oh, said that. No, that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, if you show up at the SETI Bimco uh, retreat. And you do that dance. Uh, I mean, that's like the Seti Bimco secret handshake. <laughs> you get a free coupon so, for a free record at Needle Drop Records. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> no, a coupon, um, though. You'll have to pay double price for one record. All right. Uh, no, you, uh, yes. Anyway, continue, Tim. Yeah, we're, we're doing great. We're doing great. They have a wait, party. Wait. They have a party. So wait, <laughs> was Hitler dead by this point? Yes, the war is over. Okay, gotcha. They're coming home. They killed the Nazis. Hitler is supposedly. I was dead. seeing what you knew. If you, it's, <laughs> there you go, supposedly. I was seeing yes. if you knew. Okay, what was really happening? Anyway, continue. Uh, so, yeah, I'm all lost here. The, uh, the, there's a dance, and there's a there's an announcer, and he he says they mm-hmm. put history in this. He he announces that Glenn Miller, you know, just passed away and died. I don't know if you know that Glenn Miller's plane was shot down in the war. He was a, a musician. You know, he did a lot of music for the troops. Nope. They think that maybe... Nope. Well, he just died. He was like the John Lennon of the day. He, he died prematurely. Okay. They think the French maybe shot them down. So the French, That's very rude. the French were kind of the Mark David Chapman of their day. So one guy and a girl, mm-hmm. uh, she's Rosemary. They get in a fancy car and they're going to go, go okay. and they get... Yeah, they're going to neck... Wait. They're necking. They're going to do some necking, okay. as it's called back then. Okay. Right? Sure. Do you want to tell me more? Yeah. They're nice yeah. cars, aren't well, they? they? They paid money for those cars. It was, all those cars belonged to one guy. Oh, do you know this as a fact? Yeah, for real. They couldn't get replicas, but, um, like, they couldn't find a bunch, or, I don't know, they, the stu- there's no budget for this movie, basically. Yeah. But they found a guy who literally owned all these cars. It was just his personal collection. Oh, cool. And cool. So, That's what they usually yeah. have to do. Um, they want to make out and... Yes, uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, what? My, import, my important oh, note okay. was the uh, letter, the Rosemary, when she signed her name, she signed it with a rose. That's right. Like there was a, a drawing of a rose that went along with it. That's she all. was a talented artist. Sure. <laughs> She, could draw she was Rose. the George O'Connor of her day. What, oh, I was going to say George Wayne. Oh, George Wayne. Whatever. Why? He's not an artist. <laughs> yes. Well, he is. He's an actor. But yes, he is. Anyway, can is see he him. known for drawing roses? So these these two are going to go make up. Yes. Neck. They're going to neck. Teenagers. She's yeah. Whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Teenagers who look like they're in their forties. But anyway, yes. Yeah, they go to a, a yes. veranda. Everyone Would you call it a great. veranda? Uh, I would call it a uh, gazebo. Okay, a gazebo you might, or a gazebo. You might call it a yes. In <laughs> Brooklyn, you might call it a, a gazebo, but more north, we call it a gazebo. I think uh, Mark Twain so anyway, called yes. them gazebos. I think he did too. Uh, <laughs> he did. And if he did call that, it might sound a, a little something like this: Ah, uh, <laughs> gazebo. <laughs> you sound like JFK. Come on. <laughs> oh. I was I was mixing out my 
to Roy. Roy and Rosemary are making <laughs> oh, yeah. out. And a guy mm-hmm. dressed in military uniform with a pitchfork, because mm-hmm. we got to get through this, he puts, he puts a pitchfork through her. Yes. And they're very graphic, as you said. Tom Savini did this movie, and uh, they overdid, Which like... you told me as I was watching I, it, and then, then all of a sudden everything clicked, because yeah. this movie is very graphic. This feels like when you watch, you know... Uh, a Friday the 13th basically and they cut out all the gore and then you get to see the behind the scenes of what they left on the cutting room floor mm-hmm. this movie has it all in it yes so it's it's quite violent uh, which for people who are into slashers you'll be in your glory yep. and that's my first question is we're meant to tint we're meant to yes. think this is a soldier why, uh, why pitchfork I mean there's so many other things I don't know I don't know like a use a bayonet is it supposed to be a you clue know? By the way, there's no there's no mm-hmm. coherent clues in this movie. So now it's 1980. It's 1980. Uh, Empire Strikes Back is out. It, um, you like that movie? Is it? Did we talk about is the Empire that? Strikes Back yet? <laughs> what year? No, it's not out yet. Huh. Well, this movie's 81. It's 1980. It can't. Sorry. So another party's going on. Uh, at, at the same oh, college. Can we just talk about Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> we talk about Empire Strikes no, Back. We're never gonna get through this movie. <laughs> okay. Um. Another party. Yes. There's there, been no dances been, in this this place since that killing in 1945, right? Yes. And we're Which, having a if dance. Have you seen uh, My Bloody Valentine? Have you seen My Bloody Valentine? No. The original? Nope. They basically, same concept. There was uh, a murder, and then they didn't, wouldn't do a Valentine's Day party because of that. Same gotcha. exact idea. So, so um, there's a deputy. Mm-hmm. Much like uh, uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Mark. his deputy is like, yeah, I'm going to hit on the college girls. Except the deputy and Killer mm-hmm. Clowns, we, we weren't sure if they were high school. But another deputy, <laughs> uh, yeah, another deputy with inappropriate behavior. He's just hanging out with them, yes. uh, not doing his job, basically, mm-hmm. I would say. Oh, Major Chatham is his name. He stopped all graduations since 1946. He's a man in a wheelchair who lives in the okay. house. Major Chatham, remember him? Yes. We never learned like yeah. anything oh, about yeah. him. Oh, he was Rebecca's uh, father. He was Rosemary's father. Rosemary. Who's yes. Rebecca? I don't know. So you tell we, me. We learned you said a, that you said father, but go ahead. We learned there could be a killer headed their way. That so some killer killed someone in another town. Are we get my yeah. There was out? like so, so, no. Some guy robbed the store, and then. You know, he hurt someone, and they're basically just saying, like, someone's coming our way. The sheriff says, hey, I'm going to go fishing. Deputy Mark, yes. you know, you've been here two Don't years. Don't pretty much run this place. Nope. So he goes with them to the convenience store. There we meet Otto, who is, like, he seems to be, I, th- I was getting um, Critters vibes from this character. Yeah, he's reading a comic book in the back room. Yeah, which I'm like, oh, no, is he slow or is he an alcoholic <laughs> um, why what come yeah, on like i said first vibes they said he said come help and, me and Otto's was uh, like no i meant the best part of the comic so it must be when the, the thing says it's clobbering time or or the hulk's uh, hulk I, says hulk yeah. smash is that your favorite part it, it or maybe is. when the the flash uh, runs backward in time really fast and he meets his parents and he's got to get his parents together and stand up it, to biff the, it, it the bully backwards yes yeah that's good <laughs> He has to buy worms. Anyway. Yes. Because the sheriff is uh, going so fishing no matter what. Yes, that's right. And he's going to clobber anyone who uh, stops him or something like that. It Does, doesn't matter. So You've Kevin. you got in my head now. Yeah, clobber. Yes. Yeah. I do have a list of reasons why the sheriff must go fishing. I'm okay. going to go through Let's with it. it. Hey, Tim, can I ask if you have a list of uh, reasons that the sheriff must go fishing? Here's number one. Are you ready for it? Okay. He has uh, to do. What if I wasn't? He has to do something with all his pet worms. That's number one. Oof. Number two, he's actually sneaking off to write his instructional booklet titled "Fishing for Dummies" due to the success of his first instructional book, "Fishing for Fish." All right, that's number two. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> both, both his wife and the fish are annoying, but at least the fish don't cheat at canasta. Canasta. That's a, that's a very popular card game with all the kids. I was going to say, <laughs> that, that was the most Tim Hamilton <laughs> sentence you've ever said. Anyway, continue. List. This is a list of that's 100, it. so keep going. Oh, damn nope, I'm done. Was- uh, yeah, we got a, st- a store owner and auto. Did you ever, li- the, na- the name of the store owner, did you write it? I did not. Call him store owner. 
they, they hit the auto know, stairs at the ladies. Yeah. That's it. So, so girls are getting ready for the yes, dance, and they, the, they the, the, and one girl flashes the old man Chatham in his wheelchair. She's a mean girl, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> uh, I, I guess so. She wear pink on Wednesdays. See, I'm bridging the gap. You said she's a mean girl. There, there's an and audience what? out there that will get that reference and start uh, clapping. Our audience will. What is this a college of? Do you know? Uh, rolling papers, apparently, of drinking <laughs> and doing drugs. Because one girl asks, heavy? yeah, one girl comes yeah. in and asks for. She calls him. She asks for rolling papers. She wants to so, do some heavy doobies. And then. <laughs> um, and, yeah, and someone says uh, the main girl who goes by the name, the blonde girl who goes by Sherry? the name of Pam, uh, she oh, Pam. says, uh, I don't know who Sherry is. Sherry's the, <laughs> the girl who was doing the flashing, right? Yes, Pam is our main character. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, basically, they, I think it's Pam, though, or they're telling Pam, don't mope around. Uh, it's our last night tonight, and some of us will never see each other again. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which because they're going to graduate and and yes. marry some nice men, go on dates, go go uh, see The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, so okay, so wait. Sherry yes. goes in the shower. Go, go on. Can I move? Yes. It Sherry goes in the shower. Yes. Let's see, let's get this movie over. Carl, Carl, <laughs> one of the other guys going to the dance. He he walks in on her mm-hmm. and and uh, mm-hmm. he goes to get undressed, and of course he gets killed by our. Killer right through the head, right with the knife. Yes, I think it's a bayonet. Yeah, that was so. It's at least it's at least on theme. Gruesome because he seemed to be alive while the knife was through his head there for a while. It was gruesome. Yeah, and uh, he was like r- rolling his eyes so they were all white at one point. That's which, right. Is that a special effect or was that the actor CG? I think. It, do you think CG? Okay, okay, <laughs> gotcha. They had industrial light magic. <laughs> Take a break from filming and, uh, uh, come Return over of the Jedi. This way. Yep, a okay. break from Indiana Jones. Uh, Raiders Lost Ark it was, it was called in my day. So uh, obviously, yeah. Killer walks in and stabs Sherry with a pitchfork in the shower. Also very gruesome. Yes, he lifts her up. It's yeah, very gruesome. Oh, oh, and it goes from her screaming to someone cutting a cake. And then it does like an audio transition of her screaming into the screaming of the music. I have it's this not haircut a great to party. transition, but the concept is there. The music, okay. the band is terrible. I've recorded them. This is what they're like. Wasn't that awful? It was awful music. Oh, man. <laughs> so bad. They had so two bad. songs. <laughs> was it the same band doing both of those songs? Uh, yeah. I would assume they didn't hire multiple bands. Okay. The two songs sounded entirely different, but I mean, like two different bands. Deputy okay. walks in. He's going to dance with Pam, but he gets waylaid by other cute girls because, you know, he's a deputy on the make. And Pam That's is true. very angry that she, he doesn't come straight to her and dance, which I think is kind of grumpy. It's a dance, right? Come on. You don't just mm-hmm. shove other women out of the way to dance with your girl. And then another girl I pushes mean, him, and he spills yeah. his drink on Pam, and Pam's night is, is mm-hmm. ruined. Her, her world mm-hmm. is shattered. She leaves, walks home crying. I had no sympathy. I was like, wait till you have real problems, lady. You're making this movie sound much more dramatic you've, than it actually you've is. Only just, uh, you're not even allowed to own a credit card without your husband's say-so yet. 80, 81, 82. Yeah, not till 82 could women own credit cards without their husband's permission. <laughs> did you not know that, Kevin? Did you, did, no. Did you Google no, this? No. This is true. John, John did, told me that did, once when he was the host. Weird. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, it is weird. It's crazy. Mm. Did you know women are not treated well in our society? Wait, I did wake not up, know that. Wake up, I, Kevin. Wake up, I am, Kevin. I am Googling woman right now just so I know what you're talking about. <laughs> so. Ooh. I went to images. Oh, was your safety search off? Uh, it is so, now. Hmm. A, uh, lo- a, a lot of Nancy Reagan images. Just say no. <laughs> just say no, Kevin. Uh, <laughs> I will. Yes. So, so, so she goes back to her room she shares with Sherry, and we know Sherry's dead in the shower. Mm-hmm. And so she goes in mm-hmm. and she shuts the door because she hears the shower. She's like, it's just me. I don't want to see your dirty dookie in the toilet, so I'm just shutting the door. You go, see? <laughs> Stuck a dookie yes. joke in there. 
That's good. Uh, That's what our audience loves. And she doesn't notice there's some blood on the bed. And I don't know where the man was put. Oh, no, we do know. He's in the shower, too. Sorry. Spoilers. Oh, yeah. We find out later. Really jump it out. It doesn't matter. But she, so she, she gets dressed. Um, Nothing matters. She walks down the (laughs) stairs and is the story of the chase. Then she notices. I don't know why the guy waited. She walks down the stairs and like, wait, there's a guy up there. Yeah. Lady runs from killer in house. She can't open the weakest locks on the doors. And it looks, it looks like it's in North Carolina. (laughs) Why do you say that? Listen, the only place I've seen, the only place I've seen a house like this is in North Carolina where it's like three stories. Is, yeah, is that the only place the it's built. you go? You've never been in, have you been to uh, New Jersey, Kevin? No. I guess I will. Are we doing, are, are we taking Teddy Bimco on the road and going to New Jersey to, <laughs> to different revisit states? the yes. haunts of whatever, whatever, well, whatever oh. this movie's called, The Prowler? The Prowler. Yeah. So she runs yeah. out, Old Man Potter, oh. otherwise known as, yeah, that's a good part. As Mr. Chatham, yes. he, he grabs her. Is that a good part? Why yes. is this good? So, yeah. So it's good because the old guy is they like show that he's wearing gloves and that right. as if he's the killer, like it's like we're watching a Jallo film. He grabs her as she's running by and and the camera focuses on it in such a way that it's like the like it's giving us a clue. Also, yeah. it's literally impossible. The killer was just inside with her. And then I'll, and there's this guy in a wheelchair yeah. outside. There's no way that it's him. It's impossible. So yes, this because movie also has so many red herrings. He seems to live yes. upstairs, and nobody seems to live with him. How yes. do you, how do you wheel his chair down yeah. there? And spoilers: the yes. deputy shows up and says, "I'll look around," and that guy's gone. I don't know how he sped his wheelchair. That out. guy's gone, and he <laughs> goes to look for him, and it's twenty minutes in the film of him looking up, going up staircases, really? looking for the major. Twenty minutes. Who, 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 yes, who's, he breaks into his house in a too. wheelchair. Yeah, yes, he never he's finds him. There's no way. He, there's no way he's upstairs. He leaves Pam in his jeep, which has plastic windows. I'm like, she's not safe in there. <laughs> really, I'm, it was one of those jeeps with the plastic windows. I'm not making that up. Oh my god! No joke, folks. I did not, I did, it, I did I'm not, not joking, am I? Um, yeah, it's a jeep. No, no. Why? Why were the folks saying you were joking? <laughs> I will yes. defend you. Yeah, they break into his house. They look around. Lights yeah. go off and on. Uh, this deputy uh, is the then, worst. But, she she mocks him well, all the time. Here's too. the thing. Yes, go ahead. This guy who's the deputy, she mocks him well, for for playing sheriff. I don't like this woman. No, she comes <laughs> in with him. Though. I know. You said okay, so yeah, because she finds old photos of a lady in a book, yeah. and then also in that book, there's a rose. Yep. Now you got a clue. That's a clue. Yeah. Did we even mention that that there was a rose on the dead body? Like, uh, no, it I think did we a didn't. shot of the dead body in the shower. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll throw it in here. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden it showed like there was a rose on the dead body. Where do so, you get all these roses? There's a clue. I, Go to the, the florist shop and ask who bought these roses. Anyway, so the major's daughter was, who was killed there's, in 1946, yes. and the deputy says we should get out mm-hmm. of here. They sh- the, she should try to call the sheriff. Uh, we go back to the mm-hmm. dance. The band is terrible. Paul is sick <laughs> in the bathroom. Uh, yeah, the the guys. That's another thing about this film. This guy wrote Hanna Barbera cartoons. There's more personality differences in Scooby Doo than any of the characters. I, these characters are all they're just guys in the bathroom smoking pot. There's no nerd. There's yeah. no nerd. It's like I hope no. I get to touch a girl tonight. There's no like. Uh, that's what a nerd sounds like. And there's no like <laughs> tough guy jock. <laughs> Tim, like, Tim's hey, been doing a voice and Tim's been doing a voice his entire time. That was Tim's natural voice. Yes. So I hope I get to teach your girl tonight. Yes. The, jo- the jock says, "Hey, hey, ladies, I got I got twelve condoms and hey there, ladies, and seven dates. Hey there, ladies, I... <laughs> yes. there was no personality no, anyway, to any of these characters. No. Sorry, Neil Barbera. I was gonna say. So they go back to the party and that that they hear that horrible band again. And uh, there's a lady that announces a lady announces oh, a prowler. Yeah. Who's been seen around the building and asks everyone to stay inside. And then a lot more people say a prowler. <laughs> and people want to leave like, and go and, necking yeah. and like, I don't care about no prowler. I'm going to go out and neck. And some woman goes swimming in the yes. pool by, by herself. Yeah, originally, by, by, by herself. She, orig- she originally needed to go pee and then she couldn't go to the bathroom. So instead she goes to the pool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you were paying attention. I think 
Well, that's why she was in the bathroom. So and she found Paul uh, who was sick. She yes. she gets killed. I don't know if you want to go over the kill. I'm not a big kill person. People who like these movies are like, "What's your favorite kill?" I, I've never been that person. I'm just go like, to YouTube. You go to <laughs> yeah, I'm not either. But go, you go to. Too. I mean, unless it's oh, okay. Well, <laughs> unless it's entertaining, like. Like, what of the Friday the 13th movies had a sleeping bag kill, which was basically just him swinging someone in a sleeping bag against a tree. You, you don't really see oh, too much, but the That was in Prophecy. Was, Did you ever see well, the movie yes. Prophecy? I know of it. But that I that seen happens it. in that movie, too. You got to watch Prophecy. There's a sleeping bag really? kill. Really? The, the bear throws a okay. kid against a rock and he explodes into feathers, bloody feathers. Whoa. That's true. Okay. That's true. Okay. So, so who, who came first? Wait. Prophecy was 79. So who ripped uh, off who, Kevin? Tell I, me who ripped off who. I would say Prophecy definitely came first. <laughs> That's right. Because that was, that was a later Friday the 13th. That's right. Huh. Really makes you think. So you don't want to go over this kill, but she gets kicked in the face so, lady, uh, and stabbed by a pitchfork. She gets right? kicked in the face. Nope. No? She gets kicked in the face, and then she gets her throat slit. Oh, he jumps in. That's right. That's right. Yeah, with like a bayonet. With his boots and everything. She definitely yep. had the advantage. I guess oh, she yeah. wasn't on the swim. I team. mean, she was swimming right before that, and then she got, she got kicked in the <laughs> face and forgot how to swim. Okay, so. give her a pass. Get kicked in the face, maybe that. Okay. Uh, so another other yeah. couple goes to make out in the basement, and somebody's spying on them. Lots, Otto, lots oh, Otto, spying yeah. on them. He's done reading his comic yep. books. <laughs> Again, college kids, yep. you, they want to make out in a basement with spider webs. They were on a mattress in the basement. No, they were on a mattress in the basement. I would never. Would you? For no reason, unless no, you're a refugee. No. I feel bad for refugees. I mean, but. they mentioned early in the movie, I think, that Otto lives down there and sleeps on a mattress in the basement. Wait. So at least they brought making, her around. No, you're making this up. For you're real. You're making this up. No, I'm not. I'm, Why did they I'm say not. that? I'm pulling up my notes. So this was back in the 40s. I'm dead serious. In the original scene, they say, Guy starts talking about someone sleeping in a mattress on a mattress in the basement. And then I wrote, no idea who they're talking about. I didn't see anyone. For real. Dead serious. Well, well, oh, the store owner shows up at the deputy. For some reason, he's like, them damn kids are in the cemetery. He says, There's a bunch of yes. kids in the cemetery, uh, and you know what they're doing. Uh, you got to get down there. You're ready for that? Yeah, they find the, yeah, the, a grave that's been dug up. Well, wait. The only reason yes. I believe. The only reason I've got to say yeah, this, oh, you've got I've got a list because he says, you know what those kids Hold out of the cemetery are doing, and he never does say what they're doing. So I have a list of what those kids at the cemetery were doing. Okay, Tell okay. You what, let me set you up. Let me set you up for this. Okay. So yeah. So then the shop o- shop owner shows up, mm-hmm. and he says, you know what those kids down at the cemetery were doing, but he never says what the kids at the cemetery. Well, were you know doing. what, Kevin? Do you have any ideas? Then? I have a list. <laughs> yes. I have a list about that. Ooh. Because he does say, you know what those kids what do down at the cemetery? What a perfect coincidence. Okay. So, you know what those kids are doing in the cemetery? I got a few of them. What are these, those kids doing down in the cemetery? Well, Sherry. I, I think Sherry's dead at this point, but I don't know. I, she, I don't she's, know she was. She, I don't she know, she know the name of these characters. Die, I think. Anyway, <laughs> you this know is, better than I do. This is I Sandy. Mean. Sorry, Sandy. Sandy wanted to complete her collection okay. of dirt from famous graves. She had some from Lou Costello's. Some from Aaron, Aaron <laughs> Burr's, and now she wanted Ooh. some from Frank Sinatra's first dog, Bugsy Banana Pants. <laughs> <laughs> You're actually, that's good. Because okay. dogs don't wear pants. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> They're it's also trying to rebury the body yes. of Aaron Burr, who they dug up and used as Han Solo and Carbonite at their Halloween party. You know, because it was that was a popular no. costume. Oh, okay. Carbonite. Okay. He did get yep. frozen in, in Carbonite. Empire. Okay, the last thing they were doing there. It's good. As they do, I was, they're. I was, I was getting hung, hung, hung up on details. Continue. They're practicing the, the Forbidden Cemetery dance from 1945, known as the Hungry, Hungry Hitler. That's good. That's Thank good. You. I'm, gl- I'm glad that, that that came up again. Again, it's so weird having you here. <laughs> George is so. George hates my jokes. G- sorry. I've, That's why he needed a break. Uh, if you were uh, here George for 50 full, if you were here for 50 yeah. full episodes, you'd hate my jokes too. Uh, I've listened to most of your episodes and. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I think it's just George's full of hate. He doesn't like the way Popeye speaks. I mean, come on. It says something about a man. So, We're kidding, George. What does he think of sn- the way... Uh, sn- what, does he th- uh, what does he think of the way Snagglepuss talks? Hmm. 
I don't know. Because he loves that show. He uh, loves that show. It doesn't does make he? sense, right? Heaven, heaven's to Murgatroyd. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's so good. That's based on a famous actor, though, right? Uh, Never mind. Mm, t- uh, yeah. They go the graveyard. Come on, tell me your joke. No, no I, I, I have no joke. I have no joke. joke. I well, think is, snag- is oh, literally... Snaggletus, Snaggletus, Snaggletooth. He's based on what we think Mark Twain no, sounds like. Snag- that's what we. That's what Snag- people think Mark good. Twain sounded like. That that one's good. <laughs> They're wrong. Snagglepuss. They're wrong. Puss, Tim. Say I know. It. Puss. Snagglepuss. It, yeah, I've said it. There you go. Not Snaggletooth. <laughs> yeah. Who's the, who's the octopus? Who who talks like Curly? Uh, My friend hated him. Um, <laughs> all right. No one knows what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. It's not an octopus. It's not an octopus. It's Jabberjaw, the shark, who talks like Curly. We're getting, yeah, yeah. I think so. That's right. You got it. uh, Mark Twain, Curly. Squidly Diddly. And Squidly Diddly sounded like uh, Beaver from Leave it to Beaver. Okay. (laughs) There, we figured it out. Yes, that classic voice. We're getting to my favorite actor in this movie. Okay, so let's. My favorite actor. Can you guess? the, The corpse in the chimney? Almost. No, they, they try to call the sheriff because they're like, we need the sheriff. There's been killings. Mm-hmm. And uh, mm-hmm. the, the deputy's girlfriend, Pam, makes, has made fun of him. She makes fun of him the whole movie. Like, you're, you're not very good. You think you're a sheriff? You think you can be a sheriff? Did you notice that? No. You did not notice that. She's like, have no, a good time I'm playing sheriff. Oh. And he even stops and stares at her. Oh, you yeah. don't remember that? No. <sighs> All right. Well, anyway... I'm so I'm so used to being okay, talked I by understand. women in my life that I just blocked <laughs> you, it out. <laughs> you get a dear John letter every week. That's right. Well, no, they find and they like, finally yeah. they're going to call the sheriff, and they get the yes. the man who the what do you call him the wait, the man who runs the hotel. Wait. He sits at the front desk. What do the, you call him? The the concierge. Concierge. He's my Actually, favorite. No, the concierge. The concierge is your favorite? Okay. Yeah, because he's, he, uh, anyway, it was my favorite scene. He's like, yeah, let me go. I don't, He I puts don't, the phone down. He makes sound effects like he's yeah. going out to check where the sheriff is, but he doesn't. He's just eating a can of beans. You don't remember this? Wow. I know. I need to watch that. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. He's filmed kind of profile and he's a big mustache. Yeah. And he's just like, yeah, right? I'll go check yeah. on the sheriff. And he just makes sound effects yeah. and he sits there. Then he comes back. He's like, oh, yeah, I fell down. I hurt my knee. I couldn't find him. Anyway, yeah, it was a good he, scene. Pretends, he pretends to know. be bitten by a I raccoon. Know, I know what you're talking about now. That's great. I did, okay. Uh, I didn't include it in my notes for some reason. <laughs> he was like, yeah. I think I was, I just blacked out because was, the violence was too much for me. I just blacked out. So, <laughs> so he never checks on the, the <laughs> sheriff. He just makes up a story. Then the deputy calls the state police. I, I guess they're mm-hmm. coming. He doesn't want to drag Pam around anymore. Okay. And she, that's when she says, we'll have fun playing sheriff. And he stares at her, and she gets in the, the Jeep with him. I didn't understand what was happening there. They're going back to Major Chatham's house. Anyway, mm-hmm. this is the worst deputy. He's afraid to... He knocks on doors, and he didn't check on the Sherry. But he breaks into Major Chatham's house, and he can't find a man in a wheelchair. He's been- <laughs> like, he's been doing it for two years. He knows everything. But he can't find a man in a wheelchair who lives in the top story oh. of a house. No. It, <laughs> Everyone uh, in this movie uh, stupid. I think this. I think the plot was against him. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I don't. I don't blame this so, kid. This this forty year old uh, teenager. Yes. They look around this house, and he knocks out the deputy for some reason. Doesn't kill him. Some, remember. Yeah. You're just going to skip over the, the grave. Oh, the, they do the go to the graveyard. They find, they dig okay. up whose grave, Rebecca's, okay. that was killed in 1945. They found a dug up grave. Oh, well, that's it, right. No, it was it's Rebecca's. Rebecca, it's Rosemary. Rosemary. <laughs> Re- Rebecca, I think, is in there. They open up a coffin and then they find a body of someone yes. else. And so the original body is missing. Yes. And she's got a rose. It's okay, important. Then, yes. Yep. Then they go to the house. <laughs> And then they and, find uh, a dead lady in the chimney who yes. happens to be Rosemary. It's she's the corpse a, of Rosemary. She's a skeleton. She, I, I don't know how the hell she falls out because she doesn't completely fall out. Nope. Just her top side kind of drops down. Nope. Yeah. Well, it's like that guy in, 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 uh, in uh, Gremlins. She, she climbed down there. Oh, God. 
that's, that's dark. Um, no, no, no. Everyone knows what you're talking about. That's I know. Dark. Uh, Tim, you went too far. <laughs> the Hitler, all, all the Hitler dances are fine, but you went too far with the the Phoebe Cates father story from Gremlins. <laughs> so, so uh, our killer knocks out oh, the deputy and chases her around the house. What I forgot. I don't know. Else. The sequence of events could be wrong. I but I wrote down killer presents a rose, and then he and then I wrote nothing but mumbles. I can't understand a word he said, and there's no captions. Yeah, available. he wears like a face mask. Well, gas it's, mask or something. It's like if you had a potato sack. It's yeah. like a potato sack, and it's it's like the end of the sack, and it's just like pulled closed. Yeah, you know, it's like you've got a garbage bag, and there's too much garbage in it, so you try to tighten it around the garbage, <laughs> and it's it's flexing around it, and that's basically his face. That's his face. So it's just like it's a pile of cloth. Anyway, and she he so chases her all around the house. The way he looks at all, because it's yes, army uniform. He's just a guy in military, a military uniform. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and he has like knives and everything else. And what would have been a, a better name for him? So okay. not the prowler. It should have been GI mm. jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, language. the GI strangler. How about that? Even though he didn't strangle anyone. That is how nice. about uh, how, how about? Um, let me think. Bucky. Are you just making Captain America <laughs> references? Um, hold on. I'm going to sit here for 20 minutes and think about it. Uh, how about... Private Benjamin. How, how about Private Pitchfork? That, oh, that's, that's the best. How about Pitchfork? Ben- that, yeah. that goes the best yeah. so far. Okay, done. <laughs> we, we solved this. The movie's we, we over. We should have called that. Yeah. But she, she hides under um, a bed. Yeah. It's just a long, like, mm-hmm. uh, her hiding places. She, the, the funny thing is she hides under a bed and she's trying to be quiet oh, it's, and, a, it's, and a, a rat walks up to her. <laughs> did you see that? Sure. I'm just going to say It yes. did. It happened. So a, a rat walked up to her. She's hiding under there. She, she He's, like, a, knocking over furniture. A are rat, sure a rat wasn't just in front She of shooted away and then a, a snake came up to her. <laughs> she shooed that away. Then some roaches. A mongoose, um, mongoose, a mongoose came, came in. Next. Yeah, ate the snake. <laughs> She's like, yeah. keep it quiet. Yeah. Then the ghost of Thomas Edison, he visited her. <laughs> Tried to convince her that DC Current was better. You know that whole story, right? Uh, no. Tell well, me. I, wanna, I, I thought you knew that when Thomas Edison first was using electricity, he thought DC Current was better. And um, uh, who was his competitor? Tesla? Tesla was like, no, AC is the right one. And, and Edison even electrocuted an elephant at Coney Island. With, DC, with AC current to say, look how dangerous it is. It killed an elephant. You don't know this story? No. Wow. Um, so he did that. Yep. And D- DC current, mm-hmm. you have to build a powerhouse every few miles to make it work. But AC current, you build one powerhouse and the current runs better. So uh, Tesla was right. But Edison was Edison was so, always like, no, no, DC current, DC current. Because he, he invested in DC current. So he's so like, whoa, he, we got to make this work or I'm going to lose my my shirt. I won't so, be able. I won't be able to X-ray Mister T- uh, Mister Mark Twain, which he did. I don't even know they did that. They were like, like, let me X-ray your foot. Mark Twain's like, oh, I can see my my bones in my foot. This is all true. You're laughing, but it's true. no. I'm listening. <laughs> this is this podcast is marked as uh, historical, well, Education. educational. It is. Yeah. Yes, I know. I'm learning. This is better than the movie. So uh, why do you know so much? So about who this? saves Pam? Help me out. Wait a minute. You seem like a... <laughs> Who shows up? All right. So, okay. Listen, we'll get through this and then you got to tell me more history stories. I think we should just change the whole format of the show. It's not about revenge anymore. It's about yeah. fun facts of history. So, um, okay. The Prowler's dead. Whoops. I jumped ahead. Otto. Otto uh, shows up with a gun. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why. So Otto, Do we know why? Uh, Otto comes... Otto comes in. No. He has a rifle. He, he reads comic books. He's like, whoa, my spider sense tells me someone needs help down the street. <laughs> that's why he was there. Uh, that's true. Uh, was, yeah, the Punisher was created in the 70s. <laughs> yeah. So he's like, I'm, I'm going to be the, I'm, I'm the Frank Castle. I'm the that Punisher. Way and so he comes in. The, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, it's me, Frank Castle. I'm the Punisher. Adrian, I'll save you. <laughs> Oh, it's, uh, so, so yeah, that's your rock. That's your yeah, Rocky. That's, that's my, <laughs> yeah. You might as well, you might as well uh, go with Arnold. So, do it. No, you. Let's hear your Arnold. 
Uh, so Otto gets smitten, and then he blasts. Uh, I uh, Oh, whoops! I jumped ahead. Yeah, Otto comes in and shoots the prowler with a rifle. Prowler is quote unquote dead. Otto, the lady lovingly says, "Otto," uh, and then Otto gets smitten, and he's like all shooks and starts kicking at the ground for at least ten minutes. And then as he's doing that, the prowler uh, gets up and blasts Otto with a shotgun. Yep. And Otto is just blown to smithereens. Good. Lady. Oh, uh, yes. Good special effects. It was. Yeah. All the special effects are well done. Um, good job, Tommy. Yes. And so then there was a scene when the prowler was chasing the lady, Pam. Uh, she broke off the end of his pitchfork. Oh, so yeah. So she has she that. She, she's... She stabs the prowler with a pitchfork, and mm-hmm. the guy gets all kerfuffled and pulls off his own mask yep. <laughs> so he can see better, I guess. And guess what? Yeah, who is it? It's Otto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's the sheriff. It's the sheriff. It's the sheriff. Which did surprise yeah. me. I wasn't thinking hard about anything in this movie. I was like, Ugh, this is boring, but uh, I didn't think it was the sheriff. I, I, will say, I will say this. When the sheriff said he was leaving town, the very first thing I thought was, it's the sheriff. Really? Wow. So, yeah, serious. I thought they were just... But then they had so many other... No. just thought they were getting yeah, rid of I mean, him, so the deputy sense. had to be on his own. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. And I could have seen the sheriff showing up at the last minute to save the day as well. So they could have gone a bunch of different directions with it. But, um, okay, let's finish this off. Cause that's it. Because we're at the... the th- well, no, it, no, that's not it. Oh, yeah, that's right. So we have a little kind so of they, kind right. of uh, Freddy ending, don't we? Tim, yes, please <laughs> let me let me do this okay, justice. Do this. I know do you this hate ending. this movie. So they they are, okay. So Pam, Pam and the sheriff was that your emperor <laughs> invitation? <laughs> yes, do it. Uh, so sheriff and Pam are wrestling over the shotgun, and the shotgun ends up pointed at the sheriff's head and boom yeah. uh slow, slow motion explosion so then we cross fade to happy music and pam is in a car with i guess i guess it's the state police yeah um and she, and she goes upstairs and someone's in the shower Still, same room where sherry died yeah yeah with the water running and uh yeah it turns out it's sherry you mentioned his name sherry and carl yeah. carl and sherry yeah, and Carl is, he's like hung in the bath, in the shower. Yeah. And she walks up to him, and uh, the lady's on the ground, and then he's standing, and his eyes are all white, mm-hmm. and he reaches out for her. Yep. And so basically she's, and then it cuts to the end. Yes. She so screams, yeah, right. and we, we just cut to the deputy. And it, the deputy looks up at her screaming, and that it ends. He's like, yep. I'm done with her. Which... Yep, yeah, which, you know, I guess, spoiler alert, it's probably a hallucination. That's what I thought, yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, she's traumatized after this whole thing. I mean, that's she just shot the guy's head. I forget what movie you had <laughs> that. That wasn't really, was that Freddy? Well, Nightmare on Elm Street had, where she thought it was the end, and then her mom gets pulled through the door, yes. and then the car turns into that's Freddy, right. basically. There's a bunch of movies like that. All right. Revenge. Revenge. <laughs> wherever you are, wherever you're hiding, I'll find you. Revenge. One of us will die. One of us will I will die. not stay. I will not let Cindy take I did that place. already. I dare do that. But from this movie, who's Mike? Who from this movie is most likely to say don't do drugs while getting arrested in Madagascar in a Madagascar elevator? Oh, there's a lot of details mm. there. You did this last time, mm. so you can do it this time. Are, you can help you? me. Wait Who a would go though. to Madagascar? Yeah, for, I'll, I'll do it, but I want to. Say... <laughs> okay, first of all, didn't you write that question? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I love how you comment. How you comment, and you're like, "That's there's a lot of details." <laughs> I wrote it six it, months it, ago, probably. <laughs> okay, okay, um, okay. Who would go to Madagascar? And what was the rest of it? Well, do drugs. Was, I think. Uh, I think. <laughs> Don't do drugs while in an elevator. <laughs> Obviously, okay. who uses an elevator? Someone in a wheelchair. So, Ooh, Mr. Uh, yes. Chatham, what was his name? General Chatham? Yes. Not General Chatham. Yes. Major Chatham. No, it was. It was Major Chatham. Oh, okay. 
That's why he, that's why he exactly. wasn't in the house. He had already got his ticket <laughs> on a yeah. ship. He went to Madagascar for a summer vacation. And, this is uh, your producer, Miss Lee. As the hosts try and fail at the wild card question improv, give a listen to a clip from a new podcast from Pity Party Line Productions, a new show called Friday Trolley Follies with Texar McGillicuddy and Menagerie Tumble. This is due to the fact that they were in town. Yes, he was fined a day's pay for not wearing a regulation trolley conductor cap. And in response to that fine, he said, if apples are good for them Dodgers, they're good enough for me. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I bet he did. Well, with that, we're almost out of time. But we do have a letter from a listener in Patterson, New Jersey. He writes, Mr. McGigglygoody. I hope this finds you well. I did enjoy your story about the 1909 trolley trip from South Main Street in Clarksville down to the West Side Park. I did wonder though, what works best at getting bloodstains out of a couch? Now you listen to me. I've told you so and so's over and over. Stop asking me how to get bloodstains out of couches and shag carpets. Dagnam it. Check out Friday Trolley Follies every Wednesday right here on the Pity Party Line Network. Oh, a Mark Twain impersonator. A Mark Twain impersonator was in there. Oh, okay. Doing too many drugs. Mm-hmm. It's like, whoa, look at this. Uh, I can, I can I, see I, the, I am Mark, Mark. the bone. I can see yes, the bones in my feet. Just like that time Thomas uh, Edison used his x-ray machine on me. Yeah, my name is Mark Twain, and I uh, sure love to do heroin. There. Uh, it, meet, meet me in the gazebo, and we'll do some heroin. <laughs> there. We That's brought it no home. One. We brought That's it not, home. Yeah, wow. there you go. Okay, good. Let me get through my story then. You didn't have to do a story. Okay, if there's a sequel... It. Who would you cast in the sequel? Name one star in 1981. Oh, 83. In 81? It'd take two years to get this sequel made, right? Okay, let me think. How about... Um, hmm, how about uh, Tom Selleck? Cool. Who's he going to play? The unknown son mm-hmm. of the sheriff Otto's... who is also a killer? Mm-hmm. Otto's father out for revenge? Is that what you're going to say? That is what I was going to say. Cool. <laughs> cool. Good. We did it. It's over. It was a wow. very, that was probably the most succinct <laughs> revenge story ever. So. Well, here's my revenge story. I'm going to start the music. <laughs> Get through this. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought I, I thought that was yours. I thought I helped you. Go on. Do it. So this movie we talked about, The Prowler, it was written by, <laughs> it's written by Hannah Barbera's son, Neil Barbera. Uh, he wanted to make the big time, but this movie, you know, didn't do it for him. So he's going to show his dad. He's going to make a cartoon sequel of this show. It's going to be educational. And it's going to teach children that revenge is not good. The best, best revenge is living life well. So this is an anti-revenge message. Wait a minute. I just have to okay. bring this up. I think I was on <laughs> second episode when you started your new revenge theme. And I think I told you that same damn thing <laughs> about your whole revenge sequel thing. We say that every week. I literally, I think that, I, I yeah, because of me, <laughs> I think that was my revenge sequel idea. <laughs> and then I spun it around to say, anyway, continue. Well, I'm continue. building on it. Okay, I'm, that's great. I just wanted to show my positive influence on you, <laughs> if nothing else. I'm building on it. If I'm hit by a bus tomorrow. Yeah. So this cartoon okay, show, it's on. about a female sheriff and her goofy deputy, Mark who's drawn just like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Because he never likes to look into crimes or, or open doors. We didn't talk about that. Unless it's a, unless, unless it's yes, a fridge. Unless it's a fridge. Yes, I'm going with the Shaggy. So this is a new yeah. educational show. Continue. And it's New Jersey themed. So it's going to always solve crimes that revolve around Thomas Edison. Or <laughs> Lou Costello. So like one week, there's a mystery, a mystery of the electrocuted elephant. An elephant was electrocuted by Thomas Edison by a Thomas Edison enthusiast who still believes that DC current is the way to go. 
and he wore a rubber mask so that he looked like the ghost of Thomas Edison. And when they caught up to him and, and tore his mask off, it was really old man Major Chatham. He, he said, I would have gotten away with it, if, if, too, if, <laughs> if it was, was it for you AC current enthusiasts. Something like that. It's historical. What year was what year was ACDC popular? <laughs> when did they first come out? You mean the band? I think in the seventies. Yes. Okay. So then there's an episode about a Tesla yes. convention, not the car, but the yes. smart investor, nah, inventor okay. Nikolai, where they reenact the mm-hmm. death of Tesla due to him getting struck by a taxi and not seeking medical help. But in the reenactment, the taxi really kills the Tesla actor, who is driving that taxi. A man dressed in a Thomas Edison mask. And when Sheriff Pam took off the culprit's <clears throat> Edison mask, it was old man Major Major <laughs> Chatham, who was out of prison on good behavior. Oh my god. <laughs> this is falling flat this, on you. This is, and everybody. This is all, <laughs> <laughs> this is like listening to you trying to read Dirk's letter. Well, in the last episode. It's during Thomas Edison's Memorial Day party. Frank Sinatra made an appearance and sang his new song, I Get a Kick, out of DC Current. But during his song, Uh, a man in a Tesla mask jumped on stage and tried to assassinate Old Blue Eyes. But Sheriff Pam stopped him and she tore off the rubber mask and it was, who was it? It JFK Jr. He still blamed Frankie for possibly putting a hit on his dad because his administration went after organized crime after he pledged not to. It's history. It's you, history. You love history. <laughs> Why is this not just a history podcast? Uh, you don't like this movies. Show is, this you, show don't is, like, you don't like movies. You don't like revenge. You, you like car- history. <laughs> yeah. This cartoon show is called She's the Sheriff and the Electro Cat Comedy Hour. Okay. <laughs> Electro Cat was the the, red, the other half of the show. I didn't, I'm not going to explain that. It was a cat. It was a cat who still loved <laughs> DC Current. He was always getting shocked. Okay. Jabberjaw. No, no Jabberjaw DC was on there sometimes. Or connections there? Well, there'd be guest stars like Jabberjaw. Okay, good. And now you've got me interested. And Snaggle, Snaggletooth. Okay. What was that his name? Yes. Was that right? Snagglepuss. Snagglepuss. Why Snagglepuss? Yes. He was a cat. Well, we got through this episode. <laughs> Did we? Did we? So, li- yeah. like us and love us. Uh, give us likes. So, love us and so. like us. Um, I'm going to check for letters. But I did check, and there are no letters. And uh, yeah. I did. I pre-checked. It's all jammed up. Did you up. actually check? It's all jammed up. No. Look. Oh, did you write? Because last time you... <laughs> No, you didn't actually check it that time that we had a letter from Derek. I did. I swear I did. I updated it and nothing was there. There's nothing there now. Mm-hmm. All right. You can like us and love us. Check out our website, yeah, Seti Bimco. because I wasn't saying anything. Our, our yes. website's in the liner notes, Seti Bimco, <laughs> The Revenge, because we have a blog where I illustrate our revenge stories. And, you know, this week I'll, re- really? I'll, I'll illustrate uh, the Hanna-Bar- Bab- hmm. Hanna-Barbera cartoon, She's the Sheriff, and Electro Cat Comedy Hour. It was a great story. I mean, you know. You illustrate the revenge stories? <laughs> yeah, on the blog. <laughs> Go check it out. Really? I, I Check out the website. I never have. I am going to There's take, a blog on our website. I'm going to take that out after this. Seti Bimco Part 2 The Revenge website. Check the liner notes. Mm. Well, thanks. No, I'm looking. Did George, George shoot these drawings? <laughs> nope, he hasn't done any yet. He's free to do so. Okay. Okay. Well, thanks for being here. Thank you. You want to say anything before you go? Uh, well, listen to Spaghetti and Freddy. What's that other <laughs> show you do, uh, Seti Bimco? <laughs> Seti Bimco. Uh, catch me on Bad and Spider. Catch me on the movie I, Mixtape podcast. Mixtape. <laughs> catch me on 70 Millimeter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Catch me on Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. Um, Last podcast yep, on the I'm left, everywhere. I think. You're on there. Yep. I'm on, the, I'm on there, too. <laughs> Uh, the Joe Rogan experience no, catch me on there. <laughs> Telling people not to get vaccinated. Um, yeah. Uh, what's uh, Alex Jones? <laughs> yeah. You're on there sometimes. All yeah. Right. So, you're his consultant. Send us emails. Yes. Uh, oh, uh, Seti Bimco with an E at gmail.com. 
Oh, spoiler alert! I'm gonna be here next week, <laughs> and uh, we're not telling you what movie. George it is coming yet. back, and he's gonna oh. watch. George is gonna watch The Evil, filmed in New Mexico. Isn't that a great movie? Do you like that one? Uh, I wish you, you wish you could be here. Yeah, Goodbye. I got it. Bye. 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 This has been a Petty Party Line production. Party Line. It's a party line. What? Oh, that was terribly wrong. They're not going anywhere. I don't know <laughs> what the hell they are doing. So, <laughs> you went to say goodbye to them, and they're like, what? Yeah. What, what, what do you mean? <laughs> I just I just sulked back into the room. Okay. So, you know what's going um, on. So They were doing, they were doing the uh, Hungry Hungry Hitler <laughs> okay. when I walked out of the room. So,